This video is going to be reaction and discussion of Ruby Volume 9, Chapter 2. Yes, the reaction is not going to commence. Oh, okay, I'm actually personally very excited. Also, there will be a discussion after the reaction. Fairy tale. Oh, that's impossible. Really? The mouse. Oh wow. It seems very anime this season. Oh, I do remember this scene. Oh. Yay. Like if by killer mines. You got your arm stolen by by a Yes, yes. That line is great. Still. What's What is she thinking? Something about this is familiar. Oh? Ah, okay. So the one that has she has read or at least heard the stories of Blake. I think we're in the ever after. Mm. That's why it has the name. Gotcha. Oh, you voted it. Okay. So it's pretty popular. In the story, Alex fell from the sky and met with the hunter mice. Got trapped in vines, bought a jabberwocker, mm. and then she beat the So, so they're doing the exact same thing? Whoa, 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 I heard something about the night. Wait a moment. Okay, wait. The rusted night. Rusted night. Got out through the tree. Okay. So that's why they know. All right. Makes perfect sense, actually. <sighs> My glasses. Bet the jinxie peddler has it. Hmm. Do you know where he might be? What is... I don't know, why is this confusing me? Why does this feel kinda odd? And of course, got it, you're a sleeping mouse. Alex didn't know their customs and ended up starting a war among the townsfolk. Hmm, cool, 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 thank you. Are we gonna hear them? Sorry? Oh, mouse. <sighs> so I guess now we have all the info of how they're gonna get out and everything. At least they think that's how. Can I steal stuff from you guys too? Steal? Never! I just take the things we're not looking at. Hmm. Bear's bear. <sighs> okay. Why? What? Okay, different art style. Okay, that actually went quickly. Is it me or they're a little too nonchalant about this? I'm kind of worried. What? Here and then we'll go back home. Yeah, you go back home. I'm certain. You? Why? Is what? All gone. Yeah, Atos is all gone. Nothing left for me to go back to. Well, that's uh, actually inaccurate. Now it's uh, a sunken city. Maybe you think of a way to bring it back up. Why are you showing the weapon? Some dust in it. John and Winter were able to get them out. Oof. Despite everything. What's up with this? Okay, we'll see. I mean, it's absolutely fair for them to feel that way. Okay, okay, sure. Oh, yeah, 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 weather, weather. I was gonna say a very cheap way to show what the characters are feeling with the weather, but it makes total sense. I wouldn't say it's cheap as much as an understandable way, I suppose. Makes sense, so what's this? Okay. So, we already got spoiled on how the entire story is gonna go, presumably. The rest of night is not coming to episode 3, at the very least. I'm sad. We'll see. I wonder why he plays a role as a character instead of like them. I mean, I guess they're also characters in the story, but... Oh. Yeah. Huh. Okay, here's the Red City. Some toys. Oh, a lion. Everyone is just a toy. <laughs> okay. Just start roughing them up or what? Why? Oh. Jinx. So the story... Huh. Well, it's been a long amount of time, right? Older? He does kind of look old, I suppose. Oh. Ooh. All of Jinxie's treasures are just other items in the sky. Hmm. Okay. Good question. I mean, I guess the staff, maybe. The dough. Hmm. Okay. Okay, got it. Blake is the one that remembers the story completely. Oh. Sure. No. Okay. Little is funny. Okay. This one's knowing. What it is to feel loved. Oh, okay. How do you explain that? Do you need to write something? Huh? Um. Oh wow, the red eyes. Is that darn? Enough hope to fill this job. Who hope you say? How do you do that? Oh. 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 I didn't. Uh... <laughs> what? How did? Okay. And that's now. Uh... Okay, I'm also very confused, but oh <laughs> Wow, yeah, you might have murdered someone something. Oh Yeah, yeah, okay um, Why is he just nonchalantly walking fair? Oh <laughs> He needs to pay back with a hug. Okay. Well, this was weird, wasn't it? <sighs> hi hi. Wow. Wow, yeah. You're ruining yep. everything. Really? I've read so many stories. You have? But that Ruby would be the one more fitting. Okay, the blade. Ooh, let's see what Ruby has to say here. Mm. Wise should recognize this. Did Ruby even see Penny build these blades? Actually, actually, I think all of them did. I think all of them did, right? I, I could be very incorrect here, but I'm rather positive. Don't you need to just go right to the tree? You know the ending. 
Just come on, speed run it. And yeah. Okay, I get the joke. I get it. Wow. Oh, what is that? Is the cat next? And beat the Red King in his own game. Sure. I forget that this is different. We want to go to the birthday party. That's where we're taking you as prisoners. Okay. The weapon of a powerful warrior. Ooh, that's neat. I mean, ooh. Okay, okay. That's a fair way to do it. This is so short though because I know the episode is about to be over. So I feel so unsatisfied. This is not enough. I guess that's a good feeling, but oh, the horse is also okay. Yeah. Okay. For whatever reason, this place is putting us on a similar path as a book we all read as kids. Hmm. And only Blake remembers. Right, Twice. I guess you're the one that feels most co uncomfortable with that. <sighs> okay. So let me hear what they said because they already spoiled the entirety of the season. Okay. So apparently they're meeting. They're beating obviously of the king at their own game in the next episode. After which point they'll probably get to meet John because yes, he is going to be the rusted knight. The armor looks rusted. The node. Total sense. Yeah, it's 110% confirmed. I don't think anyone else should... English. I don't think anyone should be deluding themselves that that isn't John. Or at the very least. At the least. Or at the very minimum. Yeah. It is absolutely connected to him. In one way or another. So, yeah. No John till episode 3. I'm kind of sad about that. I really am. I'm also kind of confused that Neil hasn't made any sort of appearance considering how much she's in the intro. And that she's the entirety of the story. I have heard, this is, I don't even know what this is gonna be kind of, apparently it's in a book that's connected, that is kind of to the series, that the girl that fell for the world is Neil's favorite story, and in the opening she's very heavily influencing everything. I don't know, I can have a whole discussion about the opening, I, I should actually. Honestly, I kind of can have that discussion right now about the opening, because frankly, legitimately speaking, this episode was kind of... It wasn't bad. The only issue is I feel as if... Yes, they move through things. By the logic of Blake, they are already kind of almost there to the tree. Kind of are. They go down. Uh, Ruby is accepting the thing with Penny or accepting rather. Uh, she's uh, starting to get... What is she? I don't know. She's thinking about Penny. She always not gave the blade. We'll see what's the deal with that. She was able to make the soldiers very sympathetic towards their story. Point is, they discovered the blade in a way I was not personally expecting. I was kind of, I mean, I know whether hoping was a better. I mean, I was kind of hoping that they would maybe show Penny's body and the blades would be right next to her. And yes, I'm very aware that would have been way darker, but I feel like it would have been better but also it will be i guess they will need to split the party in order to do it instead of uh, i don't know but besides the point they discovered one of penny's blades yang was able to recover her arm so progress there uh little was able to help by get, getting the blade and then the blade allowed them to go on ahead and get to the castle so we'll see i suppose we'll see what else is gonna happen once again i feel like this episode was incredibly short is every single one of these gonna be this length of time? I would be personally disappointed. 10 episodes, 18 minutes, come on now. I mean, granted, this is an anime length. I feel like they could have easily given me a little more. I don't know. The episode was fun. It honestly was just an enjoyable episode. It was fun. I wouldn't say it was anything ridiculous. There was no real combat in this. Just a lot of comedy. Frankly, except Ruby, all the others seem to be having a lot of fun. Kind of to a creepy extent. I guess Wise also is less than the less than Blake and Young, but still, I would say that all of them are having a little too much fun to a creepy extent, as I said already. But we'll see where all of that is gonna lead. They need to meet the curious cat, talk to the rusted knight. I think one more after that, and then the three, which obviously doesn't amount to ten. So they will be doing some other things. There's only 10 episodes in this, and all, each one is only 18 minutes, and that is really disappointing. They're gonna need to beat the king, I assume that's gonna be a piece of cake, I've always not watched the trailers, so I'm certain that's not gonna end great. We need to figure out... <sighs> the Rusted Knight. I'm just so excited about that, I really am, especially because they mentioned it. And, obviously, enough, even if it isn't John, it is definitely the knight in the opening, so... And the thing about mentioning time... It is possible, I suppose, that they've done it in a way... <sighs> that's the only thing that's super confusing to me. Sure, let's say that... 
I mean, I can have a whole theory about why Jean would be that knight, why, what he would be doing with the information that we got now. Why is the three... Why has the three turned Jean into one of the residents of the Ever After, but not any of the girls? And what even happened to Neo? We have no idea about that. Is it possible that... So, if the opening is true by what it's showing, I think it's supposed to be Alice, Alex, Alex is supposed to be Neo or something of that sort. And I guess she, but it, with the thing that Wes said about Jinx being much older, that leads me to believe that the thing with Alex must have happened long ago. And even though she's a character in this story and she's going to be integral, I don't think she'll be able to interact with everyone. I feel like I don't, I didn't understand anything about the future after this episode except the order in which they're gonna be meeting magical creatures and other individuals for now but i wonder where there will be a difference an alteration eventually i mean i can't wait i feel I, I really feel disappointed but that's a good thing right i should be feeling disappointed that i didn't get more here is the issue i guess for episode one because i had watched the first four minutes the episode felt super incredibly short but for episode two even though I haven't watched anything of it, it had a lot of levity and it definitely was showing the contrast between how different characters are reacting. Well, I won't say it's much of a... I guess each one is de dealing with what they're in, the, the situation that they're in a, in a different way. But Ruby just is trying to fade in the background. Weiss is trying to logic her situation out, I suppose. On the other hand, Blake seems to be having fun, which is it just me or that doesn't? Why is no one else sad that that was? Is I mean I guess obviously not Weiss is. Okay, I understand the Ruby and Weiss should be the ones that are most disappointed. Totally makes absolute sense. They should be the ones that are most affected by this. But Blake and the Agar feel like they don't even care. Granted, though, you know what? Maybe it makes sense now to think about it. At least for Blake not to care. Kind of crew and code of her to not care even a little, but okay. Okay, maybe. All right, all right, all right. I'm certain that they haven't even truly understood the situation that they're in right now. But now, now it just feels like Blake is having a lot of fun, and there could be something like the ever after actually enhancing the emotions they're feeling, not just reflecting them in the weather. So even if they feel a little bit of happiness or excitement, it might be multiplying that. Same with sadness, so on and so forth. That would be a fun idea. Also still no semblances wise not wise yang was able to use her gun in the hand but that doesn't exactly require dust it wasn't an explosion so for now we still have no confirmation whether dust and semblances even work the very fact that they haven't even tried it though is kind of making me suspicious and shouldn't, be, shouldn't you be able to tell instantaneously if your aura isn't working? Or at least isn't working properly? I feel like that's something you should be able to tell. At least these individuals who have been training for years, I hope they would be able to. For Jean, I would be more willing to forgive it because he's been training less than the others. But I, we do know that all of them have been in academies before they even went to Beacon. Even though in Blake's case she's been training, but point is, they've been using aura for a long amount of time, so I would hope they would have an idea of when they can't use it. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm very intrigued though, I very much so am. So, I guess that's that for now. I'm truly excited, but I'm also slightly disappointed that this was as short as it was. And the emotional, the emotion of Blake in particular even. I mean, no, I feel like... I feel like Weiss and Blake are just acting a little weird. I feel like they are acting a little weird. Ruby, I absolutely understand why she's acting the way she is. Yang, uh, Yang, I feel like she's the same as always. I actually do think so. I think she's pretty much the same. I feel like all of them should be most depressed. I mean, once again, it's possible, at least I think so, that Weiss could be hiding it. And as we saw from the start, it seems like she's kind of trying to hide it in for now, just focus on getting through it, so it's fair when it comes to Wise. Just Black and Yang are the issue, I don't understand how they're dealing with everything so nonchalantly. But, 
Once again, it could be because of the influence of the world, it could be because they're also trying to oppress at the moment. And we'll see what's the deal with Ruby. I don't know. I really wonder for how long she's gonna be moping around. I really wonder how she's gonna interact with the rest at night. And I mean, yeah, they don't know that John is here. That is also something that's incredibly worrying. And I wonder whether I really hope they don't just leave John here. I, I really hope not. Because that would be incredibly disappointing for me personally. I still have hope. This definitely. I think I didn't mention it in the last one, but volume 9 is the volume I've been most excited for. Also, that is also something that's interesting. The roles just seem kind of reversed, with Blake being the one that remembers the story and being the leader here. I think in the opening she's also the one that walks ahead of everyone. Then it's oh, then it's young, then it's wise, and last one is Ruby. Okay, maybe this is just like volume 8, they actually have put some thought into the opening, which would be good. I actually appreciate my shows with that. So we'll see. But yeah, it's strange that Blake is the one that's leading the story. Kinda, maybe? She's the one that fought the Jabberwalker, or at least it's the only one that the Jabberwalker attacked, really at least. I don't know. Things are moving rather fast. If what they said is going to be the entire story, they're already kind of halfway there when it comes to the story of Alex. As I said, I think they just need to deal with the knight, uh, rather the king, the knight. Then, I mean, there was the curious cat somewhere. And then one more thing and they then they just go to the tree. So even if they give an episode to, to every single one of these, there's some episodes left in the season. Which, by the way, only 10 episodes is kind of disappointing. I understand they don't want to make it feel too dragged out in this world, but I was so... I was very much so hoping that they're gonna make a review that this world is just one of many and that... They, I mean, maybe not all the way to a multiverse level, but they just go with the Tree of Life, Yggdrasil, of Nine Worlds. I was really hoping they're gonna go in that direction. After this episode, I feel like they're probably not. But the thing about how magic works and the magical items in this world, that can still be true. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'm still interested. Can't wait for episode 3. But for now, I suppose there's a video you can subscribe to my channel there and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.